And welcome back, folks. Uh, I mean, hey, you folks. And greetings and salutations from Andy. Brian Barnett got to here. Welcome back, folks, one and all, to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, well, we tried to get up here with full hearts that didn't quite kill his plan. And this thing wants to get stupid. I, here's the thing I'm going to tell you before I get into the thing I wanted to comment in the last episode is ITOP is a virus. It may be associated, I mean, even though it's part of the company that makes a great pro um, for antiviruses, their pro their other viruses, I mean, their, their other programs are fine. They're not a virus. But, and I mean but, however, ITOP is a virus. It is not a great program. I don't recommend you download it. I don't care if it's part of the deal, you know, I wish they could, they, they don't even give you the idea to uh, opt out of it. Anyway, there's a guy called Post Malone. Oh boy, no, no, he's going to talk about Post Malone. I'm going to say it. I don't like it. It has nothing to do with him having tattoos or what he does. It's what he did. And I don't remember. I think, I don't know. I don't remember what it was, but I respect the guy, I respect his music, I respect anything he's done because he's done what he wanted to do. That's the one thing I do like about him, and that I do respect about him as well as that what he's done. That's the only thing I do. And obviously I didn't, you know, check out his music, but I did, and I wasn't impressed by it because I don't like him. But I do respect his music, I respect him, I don't care what you say, if that's... Like, oh my god, it's dissing on him for whatever reason. It's not dissing on the man. I just said I don't like him. I didn't say I hate him. There's plenty of people I hate and I want nothing to do with. But Post Malone, no, I, I, I can't say I hate him. I just don't like him. You know, from what I remember, I'm fighting a headache anyway. But still, that's not why. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a reason. Another, uh, one of the reasons that I'm having a difficult time trying to... Go ahead and do a uh, reaction video inside the Dooku tree. Uh, so, speaking of, I'll be right back. Okay, so I tried to get the cheat on, doesn't work. So, but we're not going to do a bunch of cheating here, so hang on. You can use the sword to bring down below this web. Here, I've seen it. So, yeah. Yep, I also want to do that. So, yay. So, there is a whole lot we can do in this dungeon, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not saying I hate the guy, I just didn't like him, that's all. For whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. Fart knocker, why did you have to hit me? No, it's not because I don't like him, it's because I've, I've been hit before. I could have actually cheated on her and got infinite health, but I didn't. And I, I couldn't find a money code that had, you know, maximum or, or whatever uh, things got to be careful because this thing will do that so let's see here it will definitely do well it will hurt you if you fall down there is no uh, take no fall damage unless you have infinite health so I got to do this right you know what I'll be right back okay I did something I did not really want to have to do Look at this claw, the vine's growing on it. Give it! 
Give it a rough surface, maybe you can climb it, Link. Yeah, let's do that. Good thing is, you don't have to have a key to unlock this, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> You found the dungeon map for start to get into the mist. What's your name? Okay. Boot chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Move the whatever joystick to view selected field. Ah, so now that appears. That's good. So let's take a look at that. Uh, what in the world is that? Oh, oh! I did, I did not know that. Uh, okay, how in the world did I get that? I didn't even think that was part of it. Okay, so yeah, there's fours we haven't been to yet. So yeah, if it's flashing, that's where we are. Even though it's kind of different than Zelda: Link to the Past, in most games where you actually have to be, uh, well, most of the time anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Store. So you can open a door by standing front of it and okay pay attention to what the action icon says that's the blue at the top of the screen so by the way um if you did complete this dungeon you wouldn't have been completed at all until you come back because they make you literally do that it's because there's actually things you can't do until you do come back so what you have to do is you have to do this want to take care of them. I always, I didn't know that. Master, I forgive you a clue, but you let me go. When you jump off a high cliff, you, if you hold the board, when you roll on the ground, when you land and bump the heart from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though. If you, if the cliff is really, really high, <laughs> well, I'll try it if you are feeling bold. bold. <laughs> so there you go. You gotta do that, I guess, in order to get through. I never really ever did that. Never even knew you could do that. I thought you had to just kind of. Okay, so you actually have to climb up this. What is down here anyway? I don't know, but. Um, yep, I can go up here and do that. It automatically puts away everything, so that's good. And. What do we got here? This is the first game that we just done. Yeah, we found the fairy slingshot. Okay, blah 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 blah. Press the C to take it out. Because yes, there's a C or whatever, some kind of weird C button. You can aim with it. And okay, unlace the ticket seat. If you want to shoot right away when pressing it, okay. So yeah, okay. So I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, but 
you know, there's always... Oh, here's another chest. Uh, here we go. Yeah, jeez. Recovery heart. Okay. Traced. Okay. If I had known about this, I wouldn't have even bothered with that. I was just trying to get my hearts back up. It really didn't work out too well. Now, how do I get out of this? That's what I want to know. Vector suit. Small size. Okay. So, if I go this way... I probably shouldn't have jumped on this thing, but I didn't know that. I'm gonna jump. I mean, that screwed up terribly. But at least I know what to do. Not get on the platform until after. Words. So, that's all the time we have for this episode. And in the next episode, we'll have to redo this dungeon. And reset the game. Because I know what to do. It's just getting there. Later.